You're probably using Canva wrong, but it's not your fault. Canva rolled out a massive update at Canva Create that completely changes the way that you should be designing. With Visual Suite 2.0, you can combine sheets, docs, presentations, and so much more in one design. So stop creating separate projects that clutter your account and start consolidating with this new feature. Without further ado, let's hop in. So the simplest way to explain what Visual Suite 2.0 is, is you can now have multiple formats for your designs in one place. So this is going to save you a ton of time when you hop into Canva to design, and it really will force you to start thinking more about campaigns than just projects. So as you plan to market your event, where you brainstorm, how you communicate with your team and how you market your event can actually take place all within one Canva project. So if you don't have access to Canva Pro and you would like access for free for 30 days, you can always go to lashondabrown.com slash Canva. All in one visual suite, productivity meets creativity. Bring your entire workflow in one place for seamless creation and collaboration powered by AI. So an important thing to remember is anytime you see magic in reference to a feature on Canva, that means behind the scenes it is powered by AI. So as we start to scroll down, you're going to see the different types of things that you can have within a singular project in Canva. You can have a Canva sheet, a Canva doc, a Canva whiteboard, a presentation, and even your social media graphics. So your ideas are no longer limited to the formats because you can combine everything in one spot. You can even add even more interactivity to your designs in Canva. I'm talking about polls and quizzes, even adding video captions directly in Canva. Ultimately, this is going to help you to create your best work together. So if you are managing a team, I honestly believe that collaboration is easier to do now that all these features exist than before. So you don't need to have your Canva designs and your Canva ideas scattered all over multiple projects. You can even embed previous Canva designs into that one project, and that is going to keep you from having to look all over creation to find what you need. So I'm going to hop into the design editor for Canva and show you how I practically use Visual Suite 2.0, and hopefully this will help get the wheels turning for you. So one application of Visual Suite 2.0 in my business was the process of planning the monetization roundtable. You can watch the replay of this roundtable on the channel, but it was hosted live on August 14th. And so I started with this initial design in Canva. I wanted a way in the YouTube thumbnail to showcase the entire group of folks and also give their titles and the names of their businesses if necessary. So you can see here, I've got my little image image here cut out with the background remover tool. Then I've got Justin, Lex, and Chris. From this initial design, everything else spun off from that. I took the initial design and I took everything off so that I had a live stream background to upload into StreamYard. So again, I started here and then I got rid of everything just to have that background image. Then I decided that I wanted to post a carousel post to my Instagram feed, tag all of them, and then add them as collaborators if they wanted to share the post on their feed. So because I had that initial design, those assets were already created. I brought over those three images for the bottom. And then instead of cutting myself out because of all the text and everything going on, I just pulled in an image from the same photo shoot and kept the background on it. I turned that little iPad little graphic sideways to keep with the little tech theme and dropped myself in there. From there, I added in those same headshot images, but now I put their bio and a call to action in the top for people to comment money to get the direct link to sign up for this roundtable. So I wanted to grow my list and also get the word out. Once I finished that carousel post design with all the different speakers, I wanted to end with some information about myself and my app. When I went live, I like to cover up transitions with little animations because I'm the one clicking all the buttons in StreamYard. So I took those same carousel post designs and this time 
flipped them sideways and turned these into animated video clips. Because I could export each one of them as their own video, I created one for Justin, one for Lex, and one for Chris. Finally, when everything was over, I wanted to drive traffic to the replay because some folks were not able to watch the event live. So before we got off the call, I had all of us pose and take this picture. You can see in the top right hand corner, it says ended at an hour. So this was not taken live. I told everybody, hey, just pose real quick. I'm going to take a screenshot. And on my computer, I just took the little snipping tool over to StreamYard, cut this out, removed the background and dropped it into this design in Canva. So now the entire event from the beginning, scheduling this live stream and StreamYard to marketing the event on Instagram with the carousel posts, to running the event with animated thumbnails that became transition videos, to driving traffic to the replay and having a custom background in StreamYard, all of it, one Canva design. Now here is the number one thing you need to know how to locate if you want to use this feature. Because some people are like, hey, I love the idea, but how do I get the multiple sizes? I like to start with a Canva presentation. If you guys have been watching my tutorials, you know I'm addicted to presentations. I teach all the time. So that's where my brain goes. Think about slide decks. So this is my starting template, if you will. So I just opened up a blank presentation and in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to see a spot to add a page type. If you just hit plus beside your designs, it's going to create another side just like it. But if you wanna mix things up, just click on that arrow. Now you can add in a canvas sheet. You can add in a Canva doc, a presentation, a whiteboard, social media graphics, a video, everything can be done in one spot. So if you are planning an event, this is a very simple way for you to consolidate everything in one place and then add comments to collaborate with your team. One of the things that I've started doing with my brand partnerships is actually managing the campaigns directly in a Canva project. Because of Visual Suite 2.0, I can actually do all the project management necessary with the client and with my team to let them know what's actually happening in the progress of our time together. So I usually start with a presentation slide that looks like this. It has their logo on it, my logo on it, and then the date for the campaign. Then, I have this breakdown of who the driver of the project is, who needs to stay accountable, who's consulting on it, and who needs to stay informed. Then I switch to a canvas sheet and I use this to simply gauge where we are on the task related to the campaign. So typically I'm assigning things to myself and the client. With my own team, I actually assign things to them in Asana. So this is their way for them to essentially have a client portal, but I'm using a Canva project because I'm already paying for Canva, so why not? So you can do simple things in Canvas Sheets like creating these drop downs. So you can let the client know what's not started, what's a work in progress, what's complete. I just got confirmation from Alex about her approving the reel and the copy so I can mark it as complete. The initial script was placed in here. I even have version control to say, hey, is this the first draft? Is this notes being applied? Or is this the final approved version of the script? Then I had the initial version of the Instagram reel for them to review. And I was able to just paste the Vimeo link directly into an Instagram reel template, if you will. And they were able to play it directly in the Canva project. So they had some notes. So they dropped some notes here, left a comment. And so I applied the notes in the second version here. Then I needed to get their approval for the real cover. So I was able to drop that in here and get their feedback just using comments. Finally, we hopped over here and this is where I'm going to let them know when the actual post is going live. So as of recording this tutorial, this reel is scheduled in Instagram to go live at six o'clock. So as of right now, it says in progress, but I have these cute little buttons here so I can copy this over and I can go back here and say, instead of saying in progress, this is now scheduled. And when it goes live, 
I can actually just paste in the Instagram post directly into Canva and then she'll know that it is live. So I'll show you how simple that is really quick with just a previous post that I have on my Instagram feed. Sharing links in Canva looks way better than just pasting a hyperlink. So say for instance, I'm gonna go over to my Instagram and I'm going to click on the three dots at the top right hand corner and I'm going to copy the link to this carousel post. So all you have to do once you go back into Canva after copying that link is select the place where you want the Instagram post to show up and simply click paste. So in my case, I'm using a PC. So that is just control V and it will show the Instagram posts. What's really wild is it will even show your followers at the time that you paste this in, click on view profile, and it will hyperlink directly to that post. So I think that looks way better than just showing a hyperlink. And so I will replace this little reel cover with the active Instagram post when it goes live at six o'clock. I can do that from the comfort of my cell phone. So if I am out and about, this is a very easy way to keep my clients in the know without having to be tethered to my computer. You can apply the same technique to sharing links from Vimeo or YouTube. So say for instance, if I had a sponsored YouTube video, I could go over once it is live, click there, copy in the direct link to the video, then head back over to Canva, find the place where I want to share that YouTube embed and simply hit paste. And there you go. Now you don't have to worry about bringing in the thumbnails and hyperlinking the thumbnails. All you simply need to do is hit paste. Now, again, this is something that you can utilize if you are teaching a presentation in person, if you want to share an article or YouTube video or a social media post on a platform like LinkedIn or Instagram, just copy the direct link and paste it into Canva. Nine times out of 10, it's going to pull in a preview image and paste it directly into your design. So what I'm loving about where Canva is headed is they are constantly looking for ways to save you time. Now, I'm not going to go in depth about all the different things you can put inside of a singular Canva project because I have multiple tutorials coming for you to show you exactly how to do that. Once again, all you need to do to leverage the power of Visual Suite 2.0 is to locate that up arrow and select the page type of your choice. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you don't already have Canva Pro and you would like to get access to a free 30-day trial while supporting the channel, go to lashondabrown.com slash Canva. If you're ready to create your digital vision board for 2026, be sure to check out this tutorial next. Until next time, ta-ta for now.